Well, I'm Lucy Allen and I am the newly elected MP for Telford, which was one of the five seats that the Conservative Party won from Labour in England at the election in May. Um, my background was as a chartered accountant originally with Price Waterhouse, working in business turnaround, and then subsequently as a local councillor um, and getting involved in various aspects of work within the health service and community organisations. Last week was, without doubt, the weirdest of my political life so far. It was never about my use of social media. It was only ever about activists, unhappy they didn't get the MP they wanted, frustrated they didn't get the government they wanted, and angry that this government has had to implement tough decisions in order to keep this country on track. I know that most people don't hide behind creepy aliases or spend their time on Twitter trying to whip up a fury. These people don't represent Telford. These people are not Telford. I also know that I should not have engaged with these people on social media. Now, I've got a contract with Telford. It's on my website, lucyallen.com, and I'm going to go on delivering on that contract. And no amount of unhappy activists or Twitter's fear fury is going to get in the way. Um, could you give us your name? It's Adam Watling. Adam, do you use any social media? I do, yes. And what name do you use on social media? Uh, on Facebook and on Twitter, I use the name Rusty Shackleford. And why do you use that name? Um, because uh, I, I talk quite a lot about political issues uh, on those, and uh, I have family who are affiliated with uh, political parties, uh, whereas I myself am not, and it's to basically keep a disassociation from, from that. Okay. Um, with this alias, um, Lucy Allen said last week that Rusty was an alias. Is it an alias like a criminal we'd use? No. Do you commit crime using Rusty as an alias? No. Or is Rusty simply a social media handle? Yeah, it's a social media handle. Are you a Telford resident? I am. And who's your MP? Lucy Allen. Ever met her? Uh, not in person, no. Ever speak to her? Uh, aside from a couple of emails, no. Okay. Do you ever write a letter to her? Never. Okay. Um, when did you send the emails? Uh, the first one was on the 27th of November uh, 2015. And you've got the email there in front of you, I understand. I do. And um, what did, you, did you hear anything back from Lucy Allen? Uh, I did. I got a, uh, a response um, basically thanking me for my email. Um, uh, addressing the, the issue of Syria is a very small amount um, and then moving on to say that uh, other uh, parts of my uh, email were, uh, it, it was implied that they were inappropriate, I can't remember the exact words she used. Okay. Um, is that the, the last you heard of that was the, the, la the email? Um, that was the last correspondence that Lucy sent to me, um, oh. but uh, uh, a few maybe a week or so later, I got a call from a friend who had told me that uh, Lucy had published some of this email on her uh, social media, on her Facebook page. And, and you previously sent this email to her parliamentary address? That's correct, Email yes. address? Yeah. yeah. So she'd published it on Facebook. Was it the complete email? It was not, no. Was there anything that really stood out about the email she published? Yes, she, um, it, there were, three words at the end um, of, of the part that she published that I had not written. And what were they? Uh, unless you die. 
and you heard me read out the, the beginning three paragraphs of your email. Right. Were those paragraphs in the email that she published on, or that, that was published on the, her Facebook? They were not. Nothing at all about Syria or that situation was, was in So that was missing, published. was it? Yes. Um, did you write the words, unless you die? I did not. Do you know anyone who did write them that I might have? Not to my knowledge. No. no. And I, I don't even, you know, no, basically. <laughs> and this was definitely on Lucy Allen's Facebook page? 100 percent, yeah. Okay. Did she give you any explanation for those words? No. She released a statement, I think, but uh, nothing personally to me. I did email her. I replied to her reply uh, specifically asking her to justify what had happened on her Facebook page and I received no reply. Okay. Now she later said that um, she had conflated two emails. Right. What do you understand by conflation? Uh, put, to put together. Okay. Does, is conflation an accurate word to describe the missing paragraphs in your email that went on her Facebook page? Um, as far as I can see, no. Um, well, in, uh, in, the, in the context it was used, I, when I first saw it, I, uh, I thought that it came across as quite threatening and that I was being presented as uh, having uh, threatened or, or wished death upon Because upon this wasn't an email back to you from Lucy, it was yeah. your email. Yes. Somewhat truncated. Sure. Published on her Facebook. Yeah. With your name on it? With the name Rusty, yeah. And how did you feel about that? Uh, quite angry at first. Um, it was uh, because I, I'm, I'm not in any way an, an abusive or, uh, or threatening person. I would never, never do or say anything like that to anyone, even if you know their political beliefs are not in line with mine. Right. Have you ever embarked on a campaign of harassment against Lucy Allen? MP? I have not. No, no. Okay. You ever threatened her? Nope. Lucy Allen says your claims over the, um, this email are false. In other words, she's saying you've lied about it. Last week at the lighting of the beacon to celebrate the Queen's 90th birthday in Telford, she denied she'd altered your email, but she wouldn't give the name of anyone else who altered it. What's your response to that? Well, <laughs> I think that says it all, to be honest. Um, uh, the, um, you know, if it had, had she at any point come forth with any sort of reasonable explanation for why this has happened, then I, I'd happily accept it, you know. Or if she brought forth some evidence to say that uh, there was another email that, that contained those words, um, that she had put together, I'd accept that, but we've seen nothing. We've had absolutely is, is nothing. Is the there. use of the, the word conflated and, and then a, 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 a denial of interference, do, does that stack up at all for you? Did you lie about your email? I didn't. I've been completely upfront about it from the moment I sent it. It went straight on my Facebook, which was <laughs> quite lucky. I just put it up there just as, a, you know, just to say, encourage other people to email and say, you know, uh, don't bomb Syria. Uh, and yeah, uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> that's, that's, Are you part of some conspiracy to smear Lucy Allen? Absolutely not. No. And who, if anyone, between you and her, has been smeared? Well, based on the uh, the orig that original post, uh, I'd have to say myself. Based on that Facebook. Post. That Facebook post from her page, I'd say that that was yeah. yeah. Do you, do you have any idea of anyone else who might have tampered with your email before posting on Lucy Allen's Facebook? No, no clue. Now, one definition of forgery, there are several, is that it's the process of making, adapting, or imitating objects, statistics, or documents with the intent to deceive for the sake of altering the public perception. Have you ever adapted a document such as, as an email with the intent to deceive for the sake of altering public perception? Absolutely not, no. 
what would you call someone who alters another one's another person's email and then publishes it without their permission? Um, dishonest, to put it lightly. Excuse me, Lucy, is there anyone else who could have done those alterations to Rusty's email apart nice from you? Nice to meet you. What's your name, sir? Oh, my name's Alistair Mitchell. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. It's a lovely day to have the Queen's Yeah, do you want to answer, uh, answer that question? Because um, we've been waiting quite a few months for you we? to answer it. We? Well, quite a se several people around Telford have been asking okay. the question, who made the alterations to Rusty's well, email? it's very good of you to ask. Why don't you a... answer the question? I'm, I'm not quite following you. We're here to celebrate the Queen's birthday, oh, and it's a great evening. Well, I'm celebrating really Iggy Pop's birthday actually, are you? but are you? How would you like he, to how 69? Would you like to answer the question or do you want well, to evade it? I'm not sure what why you're so upset tonight. Well, it's no, a no. lovely day and we are here to celebrate the No, I'm the simply Queen's asking you a question. Okay, well very nice. You don't to meet want you. to answer it, do you? I, I don't know who you are, sir, but Well, I'm, you I'm don't very... have to know who I've told you who I am. Okay. Well, I why don't you answer the question? Do you want to keep dodging? You do. Rusty Shackleford's email oh, with the alteration, the, the unless, oh, the well, unless you die email. Did you make the alterations to it? I didn't alter any email, sir. And I've you made didn't alter would any you, email. Would what? you like me to send you the statement that was released at the time? Well, you've got your statement. Oh, well, I've nothing to add to the statement. Why, why tonight, did you do all those Queen's, alterations? Queen's birthday. If you didn't do the Thanks alterations, so who nice did? You. you keep so, ducking, don't you? I emailed Lucy asking her where this second email was because after watching the whole scenario unfold on Facebook where she'd said, oh, I've received threats, here's an example, and she'd posted it. And then Rusty came on saying, well, I sent you that, but I didn't say that, those words, and then it all sort of unfolded and then she deleted it. Um, I, and then later in the day she'd said, oh, well, it was, two, it was two emails and I, I collated them into one as an example of the kind of abuse I get. So I just said, okay, well, can, I, can we see the second email? It'd been a long time, weeks, I think. I said, well, can, can we see it? Because unless you provide evidence, I've, you know, I've got no option but to not believe you that you're lying. Um, she replied saying that um, being in the public eye, she's used to getting abuse and mudslinging things and she didn't actually answer the question at all. Um, and then she said about how the taxpayer doesn't pay for her to be on Facebook and she doesn't have to be on Facebook but, and she doesn't have time to respond to these sorts of things. So. And just after Christmas, I think early on in the new year, I rang her secretary, her office, and requested an appointment at the January surgery. Um, and to be fair, the secretary was fairly helpful. She did want to know what I wanted to talk to her about, and I was quite honest and open and said I wanted to discuss Syria. I understand that the email thing is going about, um, but that's, that's small fry at the moment. The vote was fairly soon. I don't know if the vote was in January. I can't remember. I was trying to get an appointment before she actually voted. Um, it turns out that there weren't any available appointments, so her secretary advised that I ring the following week to try and get uh, an appointment in February, which I did. And again, she asked me why I wanted to speak to her, and I said it was concerning Syria and the emails and the kerfuffle, for want of a better word, surrounding the emails. Um, her secretary did her best to persuade me that my questions weren't as important as other constituent questions and she was trying to hold slots open for other constituents. I was one of many people who went on her Facebook page on the 11th of December 15 and I simply asked her the question, why won't you deal with um, the question that many people are asking you to make all of the criticism go away and um, answer the simple question why won't you publish the unless you die email because all people want from you is an explanation as to where those words came from 
On the 11th of December, there were so many people asking the same question that um, rather than answering the question, Lucy Allen decided to take down, her, um, take down the comments that were being made so that, um, and then she took down the Facebook account altogether for a period of time. So that in the end, in spite of so many people asking her the same question, she failed to come up with the answer. In a controversy where you were alleged to have fabricated a, a death threat against you. What's your response to that? Do you have any regrets? Um, well, that uh, was totally unfounded. And I, what I regret most is that I haven't had the opportunity to make that case. So I would very much like to come on a programme and, and talk about the whole um, situation because it's an extraordinary story and um, quite horrifying um, what actually happened. That's the happened. case, Lucy Allen. It's a deal. You can come on and we'll sort it out. Thank you. Uh, I would thank like you very much. And uh, we'll, we'll call you back um, as soon as we can. Thank you thank very you. much.